Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Winter Wild Cards is here today inside of FIBA 22 Ultimate Team. I wanna take a look at this loading screen, the cards and packs, content, everything you can expect today on Friday, and also how the leaks that we have been seeing this week look to be matching up with the hints that EA have placed for us here on this loading screen. I also wanna talk about the market and some pack code that has been added to the database that is looking very, very interesting. We have some new packs added that could spice some things up. A new party bag pack code has been released. So I know we talked about that during Black Friday and we never saw an SBC. Maybe we will this time around. So let's get into it, right? Because there's a lot going on in this game right now. Everybody's playing icon swaps. We had the whole foot versus ice debacle yesterday with a big time EA mistake. If you did not catch that video that I posted yesterday, make sure you check that out right above right here, because there's some big market impact going to happen on these foot versus ice cards. Um, after EA compensates people who packed gold cards when they were supposed to pack the ice versions uh, of these cards. But that was kind of what we talked about yesterday in that video. So make sure you check that out. But we're here for today. Brand new promo, winter wild cards, right? A lot of people are missing the foot miss vibes. And this is again, seemingly the this year's attempt of EA running a foot miss promo. Now, a couple things that have been confirmed. Uh, this is not actually confirmed by EA Sports, but it's confirmed by leaks. So leaks have been so accurate that we almost are saying that they're confirmed if you take them from the right people. Uh, one thing that is confirmed are these three cards on the loading screen because we had Tarapt, Neymar, and Pau Torres all leaked, and these cards match, these hints match those leaks, right? Tarapt, five-star skills. One thing we know about Winter Wild Cards promo, looks like there's going to be some weak foot upgrades, some skill move upgrades, and position change, as Neymar is a striker position change card. It doesn't look like it's going to be for every card, but for some items, there's going to be some of those thrown in there. I think there's a Kingsley Coman that is leaked to be a striker card. A Fabinho supposedly is a center forward. What? That's kind of crazy. Uh, so this is the leaked team. Now, again, as we've seen, these leaked cards have been out for a couple days now. You can see this was posted a couple days ago. Uh, and now we're seeing the hints kind of match up with those cards. These leaks, again, do look very accurate. So we're going to see if these are 100% accurate today. I don't know if every single one of these cards is going to be put in packs today on Friday. I would imagine that it's just, I think there's probably 11 or 14 special items that would come into packs today, maybe a mini release on um, Saturday or Sunday as well. That seems to be a common thing through the promos this weekend. Another thing that we know about this promo is going to be the daily player SBCs. That is confirmed as a leak. Again, it'll probably be confirmed today by EA Sports, but daily player winter wildcard SBCs is gonna be a part of this promo as well. So that again is kind of foot miss vibes or foot freeze vibes um, from last year. And um, there's, there's some other interesting things to talk about. Well, speaking of SBCs, again, what we are expecting today is to get a five-star, five-star winter wildcard version of Zaha. It's confirmed to be a left forward position change. Actually, that's not a position change. His gold card's left forward, but it, it's a left forward SBC card, and he is supposed to have a five-star, five-star card. Now, that's pretty big. I though I think that yes, it is pretty big. Five star, five star is dope. It's gonna be a nice upgrade. It's gonna be a very usable card. But there's just so many left wings that have come out in this game recently. Um, you know, we had Pulisic last week, which a lot of people did that SBC. We've had Vinny Jr., who has taken the game by storm this year, his player of the month, his team of the group stage. We've had a lot of left wings recently, uh, which I think makes this SBC coming out right now a little bit less hype. If it was a striker Zaha, I know there's going to be some people very excited for a Zaha card because five star, five star, he's going to have above 90 pace, above 90 dribbling. It's going to look like a really dope item and it's going to look pretty good in game. But honestly, a little of that hype is killed for me because we've had those left wings recently. But if that is a card that you're excited about today, that SBC is leaked to be coming out. And it sounds like that it should be coming out today as our first daily player SBC of the Winter Wildcard promo. Um, you know, we have had Everton and Tagliafico in the objectives. I believe there's going to be a brand new Winter Wildcard objective player today, even though we've got all this milestone stuff going on with icon swaps. It looks like there's going to be, or I would assume, every single promo Friday, we have a brand new objective player available for grinding through gameplay uh, as EA kind of enables you to get a promo card from the brand new team through that mode as well. So 
that's kind of what I'm expecting content wise on the game today. I don't know about anything super spectacular or super special. I know we talked about the pack code. We'll get on that in a second. The Zaha SBC should move some left wings. Like I would be a, a little bit afraid of like freeze Rashford or some other, especially if it's a five star, five star Zaha, which it is uh, leaked to be. And you know, these leaks have been so spot on that we, we, we say that they're confirmed, um, with kind of, you know, a grain of salt. We believe them and we take them with a grain of salt. But a guy like this Rashford, other popular left mids in the game might take a little bit of a hit if the Zaha SBC is priced very well. If it's very, very cheap, I'm saying if the Zaha is like 250K, 200K or less, that would be very, very good value for a five-star, five-star Premier League card. Um, even though he doesn't have the best of links, Still, I think that would be a card a decent amount of people would go out and do um, because of the five star, five star. So anything under there, you at that price point, you might see some other cards get sold off. Now, let's talk about some other things with this winter wild card promo. There has been some new card designs along with the pack code that is added. And I got to talk about this. This might not be content that we see right away. And we'll get into the market side of things here in a second. Uh, but this is the official card design added to the database. We've seen it on the loading screen. This is the other one. This was officially added to the database just a few hours ago. This is like a winter wild card. You can see with like the little swaps things on the top of it. It looks like something is going to be related to winter wild card foot swaps, right? Winter wild card foot swaps. Now, if you remember back to FIFA 19, we had foot swaps, uh, like foot swaps of Albino, actually. I'll just pull this up. I remember seeing this when we looked up on stream earlier yesterday. We were looking at some of these other cards. The last time that we had foot swaps, the cards looked like this. And it was basically foot swaps back in the day was like season progress now or kind of like icon swaps inter intertwined. Both of those things kind of intertwined. So it looks like there's going to be something with this promo where you do an icon swap type uh, objective or, or gameplay or something like that. And you will get these winter wild card swap tokens and then you will turn them in for uh, different rewards. Now, this is supposedly not coming out until the second week of the promo. And yes, winter wild cards is supposedly a two week promo. So you don't have to worry about this stuff just yet. You can continue your icon swaps grind in your weekly games, of course, and don't have to worry about even more objectives to do. I think this is going to be coming out in still another like week and a half or so. December 26th is technically the leak date. Uh, but it looks like there's going to be some winter wild card items that are involved in this. The 85 times 10, supposedly through 15 tokens, and then some other packs. Now, speaking of packs, and I have a hunch that even though some of these packs were not included in the leaks, some of these packs that were added to the code tonight by Footwatch, they really, to me, look like packs that could be involved with that winter wild card or SBCs of some sort. Because take a look at this code, right? We have a new pack called a rare players combo pack and a large rare players combo pack. And basically, a rare players combo pack is a 50k pack, right? Contains 12 gold rare players with a draft token and a player pick of three lone prime icons. Now, prime icons are not coming out until tomorrow on Saturday. So I'm really not imagining that we will see these packs in the game today on Friday, since they include prime icons, which aren't coming out until tomorrow on Saturday. But this to me is sort of like, I don't think this would be a pack that's in the store. Usually they don't include packs in the store for purchase with FIBA points that have a draft token in them for one or two have a player pick with prime icons or like loans, right? So this to me is going to be some sort of SBC or maybe it's one of the rewards that you would get from the um, winter wildcard swaps promo. Not really sure on those. Um, we also have an 86 plus star small rare players pack. Now that is a pack that I could see being released in the store. Uh, it is, what does it say? Six rare gold players and one rated one player rated 86 or higher. So it's a guaranteed walkout pack with six rare golds in the pack. That's very similar to the 85 plus star pack, which they usually run with lightning rounds. So that could be something that we see in the store as early as today. Uh, and then also, this is the one that everybody's talking about, a party bag pack. Now it's called the winter roundup pack. Now this is going to set some alarms off for you guys because you remember that we had a Black Friday pack that looked just like this that was added to the code during Black Friday and it was never released. So let's take a look at this pack though and still with the expectation that it could be coming at some point in the next couple of weeks. Uh, 
see what this pack could offer. It guarantees one player from ones to watch, rule breakers, numbers up, road to the knockouts, team of the group stage, signature signings, one player, 83 rated or above, and three rare consumables. So you get an 83 plus player and one basically a party bag pick from any of the last promos um, except for versus. Basically all of the previous promos except for versus. So again, team of the group stage, signature signings, numbers up, rule breakers team one or two, road to knockouts team one or two, ones to watch. And I think that's it, right? Is that the code? Yes, that's all of them. So all of the previous promos that we have had, except for the verses, uh, it's it's a party bag, right? And everybody is going to go do this SBC when it is released. I doubt this is released today. Usually party bag SBCs are not for a Friday, right? They're usually on uh, sometime later on in the week. I, I wouldn't even guess that it'll be tomorrow on Saturday unless they really wanted to cause some havoc on the market. This is something along the lines of like a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday in the week type of thing. Because right now, again, today on Friday, is, it's all about opening FIFA points. They want you to open FIFA points and packs and spend money on the game. That's what they're hoping for today on this Friday. Now let's talk about market a little bit because of course we have new cards coming into packs today. We have to talk about pack weight. We have to talk about how is the market gonna react to this promo. And I think what we learned last week, we learned a lot about how the market reacts um, to the new promo cards based off of our expectations. Last week we had very high expectations for five-star weak foot and five-star skill move boosts and we did not see those. Those were not evident on every single player and that kind of caused a lot of the rest of the market to rebound back in price now i think with this party bag code that you are seeing uh added to the game you're, you're gonna see some panic selling right you're, you've seen it already a couple of these cards are just down the whole market is already down uh if you take a look at like golden bape which we will in a second but this joao felix 680,000 coins last week or even a couple days ago he was like high 700s as people were linking him to the Correa card that was in versus. But if you take a look at Mbappe right now, Mbappe is down 100,000 coins in the past week. Um, and it's just a combination of the fact of people doing icon swaps and selling their teams that they were playing weekend league with. Some people are probably not even playing weekend league this weekend just so they can get more swaps games in. Uh, and then you're, they're going to focus on that part of the swaps token, right? One swaps token is, a, you know, you have to play weekend league or qualifier games to get. Um, it, it just feels like people know that this promo has some hype. They're selling cards off for that. And also they're selling because of icon swap. So I really don't see where a whole lot of the market flies back in price today. I really don't expect that at all. Honestly, what I'm expecting is, of course, with the lightning rounds, and with the new promo coming out, you're going to have some people that panic sell, right? You're going to have some panic selling. You're going to see some of these prices continue to drop lower on out-of-pack special cards, even some of your golds, right? Last week, I remember um, the gold Messi card was like 440,000 coins last week on Friday. He dropped to 400K and then rebounded back to 430, 440 a couple hours later. Now, of course, he's dropped off further through this past week, but you might see some uh, a similar type of fluctuation today and maybe even a little bit less of a bounce back if I'm being completely honest. So I do think that a lot of the cards on the market are gonna go a little bit lower uh, into today. You will see some bounce backs on a few cards. I would specifically watch these verses, the fire cards um, and the ice ones. I know that people are scared about whenever EA decides to compensate people um, that are deserving of these cards when they pack the gold versions. I don't think that's going to happen for the next couple of days because it's, it's going to take EA a long time because there were so many people opening packs um, to get these cards during that kind of EA mistake yesterday. Um, but like team of the group stage cards, numbers up items. If there's panic selling on these cards this morning on Friday because of this pack code, I really do think that on the past few weeks, Fridays, the cards that have rebounded the most uh, have been special cards that are very popular, very meta, that are out of packs, especially from recent promos. So that's why I'm going to keep an eye on some of the versus cards today, especially the versus fire cards, because they are very rare and people are still excited to use them if they're grinding weekend league and not swaps. And, you know, you know, you can still look at a few of these cards that have been released uh, recently or cards that link to the brand new promo team that are just very hyped. Like last, I believe last week, a Dan Juma card fluctuated a lot in price and there were good flips that you could have on his item. I remember even Joao Felix's item last week with versus was very low because of Correa, but then it rebounded back, right? Because there wasn't a ton of people that were selling Felix to go do Correa. Uh, they were playing them together or, you know, there was just demand for your popular meta overpowered cards that 
that people like to use every single weekend and weekend league. So those would be the kind of items, icons I would be looking at um, today as well. Icons are so low and we're not getting primes today. So if you see more panic selling on icons, um, some of your rare cards that you see fluctuate around a lot in price, that could be a great place to look on the market today, right? An example of that is I bought two baby hullets yesterday at 700,000 coins because there was a period of panic selling where this dude just got way too cheap. Now, baby hullets back up to 730, 740,000 coins. I was able to sell him at 750K. That's the kind of fluctuations that you would want to be looking for today on this game is panic selling on rare icons that people are going to buy back to play weekend league with the first hour right you can even wait until the content drops to do this you don't have to buy before the content drop you can see the new cards that are released you can wait to see if ea drops any preview packs or any surprises that would crash the market even further and then you can go out and find some low prices you don't even necessarily have to buy cards before the content drop today. So that's kind of my, I guess, advice for you is if you're looking around the market today for some cards to, you know, maybe pick up that are getting panic sold, especially like this Rashford is down a lot because of course the uh, Zaha today, but if the Zaha SBC is very overpriced or does not have a good upgrade, or let's say it's just not very desirable and not a lot of people are going to do it, you know, maybe this Rashford gets so low that he does bounce back up at price or Gabriel Jesus, right? This Gabriel Jesus card is seriously down so much this was a card that was 1.2 million coins i sold this gabriel jesus at 1.2 million coins uh earlier in the week and he's 860k right now i know there's a lot of fear for more supply on this card but still that's a really really low price for how much that he has dropped so that's i think the best place to be trading with th this market today. Now you could absolutely trade with some gold cards as well. We saw a lot of gold cards rise up very nicely after um, division rivals rewards. Like Marquinhos was 39,000 coins and I believe he went to 44K. Right now he's sitting at 42. Hakimi was like 31,000 coins and I think he went up to like 37,000 coins. And I believe right now he's sitting at like 36. So these cards are gonna get maybe panic sold a little bit today and then uh, supplied through lightning rounds and saved up packs. But I would also believe that they could bounce back a little later on. So maybe Ferland Mendy, maybe Hakimi, Varane, uh, some of your, your meta and popular gold cards. It seems like people are maybe running with some cheaper teams right now as they're doing icon swaps. And they expect that they've sit, maybe even sold some cards from their team as this market has gone down because they are expecting this promo to have some big name cards in it and big name SBCs. Daily player SBCs always causes people to panic because they know that the market's going to be devalued through people doing SBCs uh, that are dropping every single day. So last thing I also want to say is uh, I want to shout out some specific investments that people have maybe made. Maybe some of you guys have these cards. Um, if you have bought an item that links to a leaked card like this maxwell cornet links to the zaha um, the only way that this cornet goes up further today in my opinion is if the zaha card is incredibly cheap and like has think about like the the benzema flashback card if there's that much hype for the zaha today which i think you know there's i would almost guarantee you there's not going to be that much hype um just because of again the Pulisic, the Vinny Jr., and the Benzema card is just something that people have already been using this year. I don't think there's going to be any SBC at least for a long time this year that compares to that flashback Benzema in terms of the value of the SBC, how much hype it has. Um, so I really think that I would sell these cards in the hype. 95k for Cornet. Maybe this morning he goes up to right around like a hundred thousand coins at his peak. I think I would take the cash though. And that's the very safe route, right? If you invested in those cards, that's the definite safe way to do it. This Mbabu card as well, um, Mbabu Ice or Mbabu Fire, I would sell this in the hype as well. I know that we have a Sal SBC that is coming. Uh, that is, of course, a Switzerland Bundesliga link. But we don't know what day that SBC is coming, right? And if it does not come out today on Friday, you might see some people go out and sell this Mbabu card um, again. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that. There could be multiple ways to trade with those cards on the game today as well. But I'm kind of I'm low key excited. I'm low key excited because those pack the packs that are in the code and you know the cards on the loading screen, daily player SBCs, that gets me excited. Daily player SBCs is, gets me pretty excited for this promo. I hope that EA deliver because last week was just not a very good week with the foot versus promo, all the errors, just you know the, the SBCs were just very average, right? We were very underwhelmed. So hopefully this next two weeks or how however long this promo is of the winter wild cards promo is 
a W. So if you want to catch us live on Twitch, we'll be streaming during the promo draft a couple hours before and after looking at the market, opening a few packs and uh, looking at the new cards and how the market reacts and how the game reacts to the new content today on Friday. If you enjoyed this video, though, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.